Today's question comes from Carol Pick, and Carol asks, I just bought a 12 gigabyte RTX 3060, upgraded from a GTX 970, that is awesome. Beast mode upgrade right there. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM and a Ryzen 5 1600 CPU. That was such a good CPU back in the day. My question there is, is that CPU enough to get the most out of the new graphics card? Otherwise, what CPU would do without breaking the bank? This is a great question, but it lacks a lot of detail. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price, get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. And thankfully, a friend of the channel asked a follow-up question on Twitter where this was posted to me, and I cut it out, which is what you're looking at here. Mark says, to add to you and help tech answer your question, how many screens do you use? What resolution do you run them on? What type of games do you play? And what frames per second do you want? Those are critical pieces of information because without them, any answer you get to this kind of question is a guess. I'm just shooting in the breeze, hoping to somehow hit the target. I see so many questions asked online on Reddit and Twitter and YouTube comments, and there's not enough information and people get responses and they go, oh, okay, thanks, without any idea about whether it's actually a good answer for them. But of course, if you don't ask questions for a living and answer questions for a living, it's easy to miss. I understand. Carol replies and says, fair points. I forgot to mention that. I have three 1080p screens and one 900p screen, and I've been thinking on replacing that last one for a 1440p. Let's just be clear here. This is somebody with four monitors. Nobody with four monitors is doing one thing at a time. I mean, okay, they could be, but they're probably not. This is a multitasking environment. Dear Lord, that 1600 might have been nice in its day, but it is definitely due for an upgrade. I don't really play AAA games or competitive stuff, so 60 frames per second is fine with me. Good to know. The not breaking the bank answer is a Ryzen 7 5700X. You go from Zen 1 to Zen 3. You go from 6 cores to 8 cores. You go from 3.7 gigahertz all the way up to 4.2 gigahertz, which may not sound like a lot, but times two more cores, times the IPC increase of the chip. Plus, the Ryzen 5 1600 is actually two three-core CPUs glued together with Infinity Fabric, whereas the Ryzen 7 5700X is a single monolithic eight-core die with no quarter core latency issues. It is more than double the performance across the board, more than double the single-core performance, more than double the multi-core performance. It will be like an entirely new computer. It'll be a what? The first time you boot Windows with that CPU, it's going to be like... Okay, click. Oh, wow. Chrome just opened like instantly. Okay, let me, I can open three things. That, well, I just got a new computer. Even if you have an El Cheapo B350 motherboard. Now, make sure you update your BIOS first. We have a video over on the main Tech Deals channel, how to update your BIOS, because that's a complicated question that really doesn't fit within here. But do make sure you update your BIOS. Your existing cooler actually should work. The 5700X is a 65 watt TDP chip. An existing Wraith Aspire or Wraith Stealth cooler from A1600 should cool it just fine. It really is an amazing value. On the day I'm recording this, and it may change, in the United States, a 5700X is $175. You can sell your 1600 for about $60 or $70. It'll cost you about $100 to upgrade. Biggest no brainer ever. To anyone watching this, if you have a first or second gen Ryzen, 1500, 1600, 1700, 2600, 2700, 2700 X. The performance improvement going to a $175 5700 X is night and day. It's not quite double across the board from a 2700 X, but it's like 90, 85 to 90% faster. And a 2700 X is worth a lot more than a 1600. So your upgrade cost is what? A couple of pizzas. It is a no brainer. AM4 is a gift, and we should all be upgrading those older systems because Zen 3 is definitely a step up over first and second generation Ryzen. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. 
$15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.